My name is Ian Piggott and I am a leaf demonstration farmer. We have been harvesting rainwater for 25 years. Um, we started long ago with this very old contraption here where we just basically a big tank and a big roof and some gutters feeding into it. And now at the other farms we have a slightly more sophisticated rainwater harvesting with filters and so forth, but it's just, it makes sense. I think the, the difficult challenge about um, when deciding whether or not you want to harvest rain for rainwater is that water is getting more and more expensive and will only increase in price. But the, the rainwater harvesting systems can be quite dear um, and this is a great example of a very simple system. Um, I'd like to do more of it but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's not that straightforward. This is where we fill the sprayer up so it works perfectly. So when we, when we moved the tank to, to this roof, the roof is, was larger than the one it was at previously, and it was just a case of redirecting the gutters, cutting the gutter in two, at two ends and feeding them both into the tank. So the, this, this tank here has, um, has a net along the top to, to catch leaves, uh, but we also, because the, the, the tank is open, it means that actually we do get algae and stuff forming in it, so we filter on the outfall pipe as well. We have a separate filter which we change or check every week. So obviously with this tank, uh, we've, we've made sure that the outfall pipe is about, um, it's about 30 centimetres off the bottom of the tank so that any sediment doesn't, um, doesn't fall out into the sprayer when, as soon as we open the sump. Why would I bother with rainwater harvesting? Well, with a system as simple as this, why wouldn't I? It's, it saves money, um, we're you know, making good use of the water, uh, it's a shame to waste it, and um, yeah, I'd do more of it if I could.